guys welcome to Ropnos tutorials today we are going to learn about high boost filters now neighborhood processing as we have already seen it in the previous tutorials uses the masks and the imposition of masks on the image and likewise there are several types in these filters the, we have seen low pass filters and high pass filters now high boost filters are something in between uh, at uh, many a times it is required that uh, we have to pass a high frequency component or a high in a intensity component along with a little low intensity component that is or the low frequency component that is uh, to simplify this statement I would uh, give an example of an image where I have to pass the main character the main gist of the uh, object in the image along with a little bit of the background so how do I proce proceed uh, how do I achieve this I use a different kind of filter called high boost filter this filter has both the attributes of low pass filters and high pass filters as we can't use these filters uh, these filters individually because low pass filter would pass only the background and high pass filter would pass uh, everything other than the background so now as you can see over here i have drawn three graphs now i will proceed to explain uh, what is exactly a high boost filter with uh, the help of these graphs graph number one here the x-axis or the horizontal axis uh, denotes the frequencies the uh, denote uh, that is represented by omega and the y-axis represents the intensity values uh, this is a, fem a, a little bit similar or it is exactly how we draw a response graph for filters in analog uh, designs as we would have learned in uh, subjects like uh, DLIC or in any other analog subjects it is, this is just used to explain how and how, what exactly is high boost filtering now as you can see over here as the low frequencies go on increasing from here and the high frequency lie over here the intensity that exists is pertaining to the low frequency values that is the all the intensities or uh, values uh, which are related to the low frequency uh, high frequencies sorry where high frequencies are zero so this is by logic a low pass filter response a low pass filter response here this is the threshold frequency below which all uh, below which all the intensities present would appear in the output and the intensity values uh, or the values after this frequency would be flushed out or would be cancelled this is a low pass filter basically this portion is called the pass band because all the intensities in this band have been passed in the output and this is called the stop band because all the intensities after this frequency value have been neglected now let us have a look at another graph which has the same uh, uh, same values uh, denoted on the x and y axis that is frequency on this x axis and intensity on the y axis here we can see there is a rise in intensities and the constant intensity or the step form after a certain frequency which is again a threshold frequency this is basically representation of an high pass filter because all the low frequencies and the intensities related to them are zero and as there are high frequencies over here the intensity is pretty much constant and a finite value so the intensities pertaining to high frequencies have been passed this is a high pass filter response the, after this frequency all the intensities have been passed now we will see 
how exactly is a response for a high boost filter. As I mentioned in the definition at the start that high boost filter is basically high pass filter with a, uh, with a few con uh, low pass filter uh, low uh, intensity data passed that is when I have to pass a high intensity uh, uh, object in the image along with a uh, background I use a high boost filter the same has been represented in this graph over here again uh, this axis represents frequency and this is the intensity if there is a frequency over here threshold frequency and all the uh, frequency after this that is the high value frequencies have a finite intensity and all that are below this frequency have no intensity that is the selective uh, passing of intensities has have been done now yeah we i can see a region over here if this was my high pass filter this would be the pass band and this would be the stop band but a high boost filter carries a little of low intensity data or values with it in the output so in from this stop band a little of the intensities would also be allowed to be passed into the output this is basically how we represent a high boost filter. Now as we have seen the response of a high boost filter we may now proceed to the mathematical proof of how to represent a high boost filter. Here we can see a low pass filter graph, high pass filter graph and a high boost filter graph. If I add the low pass filter graph or the response and the high pass filter graph or the response, I would get a graph something like this. This being my intensity and this being the frequency. If I add the high pass and the low pass uh, graphs, I would get a steady output over here or an intensity value over here this is the main image or the image without any filtering now using this concept we can um, state a mathematical equation for uh, image in terms of high pass and low pass filters that is an original image will be equal to high pass filtered image plus low pass filtered image now using this equation we will try to prove or we will try to represent a high boost filter now having stated that original image if we represent it with O is equal to high pass filtered image plus low pass filtered image then from this equation rearranging low pass image would be original minus high pass filtered image we will remember this equation as equation number one now from the graph of high boost filters uh, we can also write it in this form a high boost filtered image would be a times the original image minus the low pass filtered component this low pass filter component pertains to the stop band and we use a a or a coefficient of a with the original image to show that apart from this low pass uh, stop uh, low pass stop band has been taken into consideration now use from the above equation we can extend this to a into the original minus original minus high pass which goes like this 
Now, taking the original part common, I have O into A minus 1 plus I pass filtered part and this is the modified equation of high boost filter part. Now if we look at this equation and if we have the value of A as 1 we would get HBF or the high boost part would be 0 that is uh, if we put a 1 in this value we get, we get 1 minus 1 uh, that is 0 into original part 0 plus HPF the high pass filter part which shows that high boost filtered image or the high boost filter would be same as high pass filter this totally justifies the graphs that we have seen because if I don't uh, as I said this A over here pertains to this region that we are taking from the low pass filter stop band uh, into consideration along with the high, uh, high frequencies so if I don't at all consider this part and start from here it would be nothing but high pass filter response and this would be the function of a high pass filter the same thing has been uh, proven mathematically over here so this was all about the high boost filters the filters that are used to pass the main object in the image along with a little bit of the background. In the next tutorial we would be uh, learning about the last of the filters that is the median filters.